Welcome to the channel. Today I offer a rebuttal to reasons to not go to the Philippines. Lately, I've noticed a lot of content painting it in a negative light. They list a number of reasons. Some may be valid observations. Others are exaggerated opinions, perhaps to draw views. They often start out saying that all the other YouTubers are lying to you showing you all these beautiful places, beaches, resorts, tropical paradise. I have yet to see anyone say that this is all of the Philippines. The truth is that there are many beautiful places and some not so. This is truth no matter where you travel. And we in the States are not exempt from this reality as the following images attest. As a traveler or expat, you have the ability to choose where you go and what you see and do. There are many clean, well-managed cities in the Philippines. So before you jump on that plane, do a little research and you'll have an agreeable experience. Next on the list of the complaints is beggars. Well, the U.S. is not exempt there either, as most urban street corners are occupied by one or more. Public transportation is usually mentioned to be lacking. I disagree with this entirely. It is my opinion that in some cases there is too much. You have tricycles, trikes, Motocons, jeepies, taxis, and full-size buses to choose from. Yes, some may be a little cramped for folks of our size, but they're not made for us. I've used all of these forms of transport and have not once felt that my personal safety was at risk. Not sure that can be said for many places, including here in the U.S., when it comes to rental vehicles, the comments usually run that they are old and in disrepair. Again, you have a choice. I've had no problem finding late model cars and scooters in good repair to rent. Others complain of a corrupt government and profiling. In this day and age, can anyone truly speak of another country's government in that way? It has been my experience moving through the country that I receive better treatment than the locals to the point of being waved through police and military checkpoints without question. The last item I'll address is food. One tuber stated that if not for the service panda, they would have starved because the restaurants do not have picture menus. I mean, really. So you're going to eat carry out in your accommodations, not mix with the people or learn anything because the menu doesn't have a picture? Let's examine this. You could ask what the dish is. Most speak English. If you have internet to order from Panda, you could Google the dish and see what it is. And finally, for reference, does the burger you get at McDonald's look like the burger on the menu board? In closing, be a savvy traveler, do some research, plan ahead, make reservations, read reviews. Remember, it's a different culture, and your presence in any foreign country is of no consequence to anyone except yourself. You have a choice. Choose well. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.